from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the team. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch. Now the transition to the judo throw, right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Beautiful strike. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that strike, but when you continue to land at this type of... Oh, big knee! Oh, big knee! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go we'll get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. What a fight. All right, so Max Bless Holloway in vintage form here tonight. I'm not sure for a man that young we can trot out the term vintage, but just a beautiful combination yet again. I mean, he's flowing, man. He's flowing. He's fighting behind that jab. He's so big, so long, so diverse for this weight class. He's tough to deal with at any point, but tonight in this state, he's a real problem for his opponent. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's get to the replays from that previous round, and you gotta think they plucked that flying knee, huh? Oh, it was beautiful. It was great to see someone be this free in the octagon. See an opening, take anything that shows itself. That flying knee was perfectly timed and landed beautifully. Ready, go. Ready. Round two underway. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Holloway. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Good punch. Holloway gets caught by that straight punch there. Another one. Yep. Up in the left hand. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Now. Oh, he might be out. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of 
strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his...